self-indulgence, over-ambitious, and way too long. But in Prague, that's how we do. The Clockworks Fable by Gandalf's Fist. So Gandalf's Fist is a UK Prague conglomerate. These guys have definitely shaped themselves within the past couple of years and really focused in on that modern prog feel in a concept album style. And this one has been the most kind of ambitious and straightforward of a concept to date. It is a concept album spanning three discs with almost a radio play in between each of the songs. And I applaud the band for giving this a try. It is one of the most ambitious albums that I've ever come across. And unlike a lot of these double or triple concept albums where it just becomes way too overbearing, this one actually works. I love the whole steampunk radio play opera feel that it has to this. I feel like really approaching this subject matter in this light paid off very, very well for the band. And having voice actors come in and actually voice act their particular character to string the narrative of the story along worked beautifully. I was never lost in the story and I always knew what was going on and I felt like by doing it this way and instead of incorporating the story through the music and have the story be presented in this way, you can concentrate more on the music and elicit the emotion that they're trying to get at. And again, they did this very, very successfully. Each song really showcase the emotion that the story was going through for that particular time. But the music is never boring, and that is saying a lot. I mean, the total runtime is just under 200 minutes, and to have an entire album where I never felt bored with that length is quite the astonishing, actually. And in this cast of characters, I love the fact that each one is very, very flushed out. I know that we've had a couple other concept albums that have really tried to story align, but here, each character is very memorable. I, and I love the Tinker. Whenever the Tinker is on stage or on our ears, I just can't get enough of just how enthusiastic and how jolly he is. You know, once you get used to it, it's not half bad. What isn't? Prison! People are always in such a hurry to tunnel out of them. I tell you what, with a lick of paint, a few tactically placed plants, and a bicycle operated trouser press or two, this place really wouldn't look half bad. And Eve is very ambitious, and I love how excited she is as well. And boy, the robot is a fantastic little bit of comic relief, even though the tinker is already kind of that. Sorry, boy, gotta go. If anyone asks about all this stuff, tell them it's... It's for the festival. Surprise for the festivities. And the story itself is very beautifully constructed and very well done. So each of the voice actors are amazing. And let's also talk about some of the guest stars that we have on here. The main one for me is Arjun Lukasen, the guy from Arion and uh, The Gentle Storm and, you know, a very big prominent figure in the progressive rock community. So I love that his presence is definitely felt here and there within the album. And I mean, the other guest musicians range from Blaze Bailey, Dave Oberlin, Matt Stevenson, and Melissa Hollick. And each one definitely has a great presence within this album. So getting into the actual music here, because again, that's why we're here. We're here for the music. And overall, again, I'm never bored. I always love each track. But when you get to this length, unfortunately, there is a little bit of a overindulgence and almost overbearing at times. I feel like you know, my mind does start to wander a little bit, but I'm still engaged. And I think having those radio play parts between the songs definitely helped out. While I was listening to this album, while skipping each of those radio play parts, I feel like I wasn't quite engaged as much. I felt like I needed those radio parts, not only to kind of give my ears a little bit of a break, but also to reacquaint myself with the story, to really find out where I am. The story also is a little bit overbearing and a little bit overblown at times as well. I feel like the prison sequence goes on far too long and almost encapsulates the entire second disc. I feel as if they cut this down a little bit and maybe explored a little bit more of the underground or that that clockwork town or whatever it is you call that, or maybe explore different areas within the religion aspect that you had in that. I feel like that would have helped me a little bit through as well, especially in that mid part. And the ending of the album, it really didn't like blow the doors down or anything like that. It just kind of kept the same pace that the album had. And when you're dealing with an album like this, the three points in the album that you really need to hit the home run essentially is the first track to set the album up 
the middle track to keep the audience engaged and keep them moving and especially the last track or at least that final piece and I feel here they kind of dropped the ball a little bit with the final piece I wasn't quite engaged with that ending. My favorite part of this entire album definitely has to be that lamplighter suite that kind of strings through the album. There's three songs of that. That is definitely the most memorable part. Uh, it's just a breathtakingly beautiful piece that I hum again and again. So I feel like had they revised that part for the ending and really, I don't know, really brought it home, I feel like this could have been a beautiful work. It already is, but just elevate it to that next level that this album demands to be. So overall, I can't recommend this album more. This album you need to go out and listen to. And that's why I gotta say, if you can find it, pick it up. It is a well-deserved album to have on your collection. And so that's all I got to say about The Clockwork Fable by Gandalf's Fist. It is an amazing album and one you need to check out. Have you listened to it? If you have, let me know by commenting below. If you haven't, go and find it because it is a fantastic listen. And thank you guys again so much for watching. Until next time, notes out. But I've waited all my